Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Divinity. I just realized I was not recording, so I missed a couple minutes, but that's okay, because all I did was I did more shopping, so we got a couple new items for Beast. He looks uh, a little cooler now. We got some new abilities for a few of us, including the Red Prince who can now charm, summon a Bone Widow, and do a healing ritual. Um, and then we went to the Maester's house, and all she said was follow me downstairs, basically. So now we just went to her downstairs. She didn't really say anything on... Besides that, she was, oh, but she was also very sarcastic. She's, she's not feeling well, because she is still recovering from her injuries received from the Red Magisters. Um, so she is uh, still, you know, like I said, recovering. So there you go, you've been caught up. Ooh. Weird contraptions. This place is an arcanist's dream. Source. She has source in her basement. Don't mind if I do. Very good. Uh, before we talk to you, is there anything we want? Mm, I mean, I don't know. Firestorm grenades, maybe? I mean, it doesn't say we're stealing, so... What is this? Incinerator valve. Okay. Whoa. What the hell is that? Energy chest. A source orb? Huh. Wait a minute. Okay. Evasive aura. So this thing grants you skills. Your dodging is increased by 90% and your movement speed is increased by one meter. Set evasive aura for one turn. Okay, what if you do Venomous Aura? Allies in range receive Venom Coating, which adds poison damage to weapon skills and attacks for four turns. Okay. There we go. And then Cleanse Wounds. Heal yourself and allies around you. Create a water puddle beneath every target. Remove necrofire, burning, disease, decaying touch, poison, bleeding, suffocating, and acid. Oh. But with Fane in our party, that could be bad. That could be bad. Hmm. Okay. Let's do the Venom rune for now, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. That's a lantern. Um, let's go talk to her. The Meister is examining her wounds, prodding at this, wincing at that. Her face seems grim as she turns to you. Do you know what it means to have the power of the divine, Godwoken? Of course I do. I've been uh, revered as a god all my life. You've been playing pretend all your life, but the reality is quite, quite different. No, becoming the divine means taking on the power of all the gods and the responsibility for all the races. All the races? I mean, like, by all, you mean like all lizards, right? Not like half. The divine was created by the gods to shelter us from the void. The divine cannot use his power for anything else. Mm. I mean, surely I can use some power for myself. When you become the divine, there is no more self. For just a moment, her eyes soften as she looks at you. It is no small thing to ask, but it is your duty. Without a new divine, Rivalon will die. Now that we understand, but we're already thinking about what we can do with such power. Very well, then. 
Let's see if we can't snatch divinity from the jaws of the void. The ritual itself is quite simple. Drop some black root in the bowl, mix in a little blood, set the concoction aflame, and then inhale the smoke. Ignore any feelings of dizziness, burning in your lungs, or a dire sense of existential dread. They're all perfectly normal. Although you will need to sacrifice a little sauce along the way. Okay. Everything you need is here. The ingredients are in the cupboard, the sauce in the fountain. The ritual is described in the tome by the bookcase, and, well, I'm sure a fine reptile like yourself will have no trouble summoning some fire. The Meister looks back at her wounds, curiously prodding them as fresh blood oozes out, staining her claws. That looks pretty bad. Quite. Mind you, being torn asunder by a void woken would be even more inconvenient. So if you wouldn't mind... The Meister points sharply to the ingredients cupboard. Okay, I can start it immediately. And do not lose anything! These ingredients are rare indeed. I'm not hiking back out of the cloisterwood to fetch you more black root. Okay, in the cupboard. Opening the door, you see a selection of ingredients thrown together in no particular order. Okay. After a quick rummage, you spot the black root nestled between the grated dragon's tongue and drudene oil. You gather up the black root, obsidian lance, and ancient bowl, and kick the door of the cupboard closed. Obsidian Lance. Uh, gather the necessary ingredients, place a black root ritual bowl, draw some blood from the lancet, then burn the mixture and inhale the smoke. Burn the mixture. I don't know really why to burn her. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, so. Where is... There we go. And there's a lancet. You probably have to draw blood the... Uh, okay. Black root? Combine? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Can we use from here? Okay. And then combine these? Okay. Ritual bowl completed. Incinerator must be that. And then smoke cloud. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. Hold the fumes in your lungs and ignore the thumping in your head. As the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul. Okay. Hall of Echoes. This old place. Okay, that's me. Hello, me. It's me. Bathed in the half-light of these starless barons, you spot a figure you could only describe as a second self. It looks haggard and weak, its very voice but a feeble echo of your own. Red Prince, come. Come closer, so that you may see me as I truly am. Step Look closer. me in the eye. The apparition clasps your face in its shaking hands. You suddenly feel your eyes tingle. Everything becomes brighter, sharper. Blacks and whites become glorious bursts of color, then fade back into their accustomed spectrum. Blind eyes shine brightly. What? Speak the spell and see. Oh? Spirit vision. Huh. I see dead people. Gone is the strange mirror oh? image of yourself. Before you stands the goddess Zolstissa in all her spectral glory. <gasps> My love. You know me now, don't you? I saved you from drowning. I blessed you 
made you powerful. And now I've come to seek some power in return. Oh, but did you want to kiss Your or something? Your god-woken soul is my last refuge, my last bastion. May as well make the best of what you have to offer. Zor Stissa nourishes herself from the source that abounds in your presence. You feel it deep down inside yourself. Ah, yes. Just what I needed. I tell you, dying just doesn't become a god. What is... Okay, what's happening? The void itself is hunting down the gods, leeching us in ways we never thought possible. Droplet by droplet, we are being drained. We are battling for our very survival. It's a battle we're losing. And should we truly lose, all will be cast into oblivion. Hmm. There must be a way to save her. To save us both, as a matter of fact. You must realize, Red Prince, that our fates are now as one, just as our souls are now as one. We are I. Together we are a force to be reckoned with. But if we seek to survive the onslaught of the Void, we stand no chance unless we become vastly more powerful than we are now. I'm cool with becoming powerful. That means there is but one place we can go. The Well of Ascension. Say you once read it as a fable birthplace of the gods. It most certainly will be. The Well of Ascension is a lake, a pool of pure source, in which the powers of the Seven lie united. We gave them up freely to create the first divine. Each of us donated half of that which makes us gods. To bathe in the lake is to become our chosen. Take a bath, got it. That is where the road to divinity leads. And you must be the first to reach it at all costs. <laughs> I like, yeah, I like the first option. Uh, Toulouse is a complete abstract to you. I know. Or did you think I chose you for those ember eyes alone? Well, I mean... I mean, they are pretty good amber eyes, though. One must never enter into any endeavor, though, without realizing the stakes. The Void is stronger than ever. A new divine won't be enough. You need to go to the Well of Ascension. Not to bathe in the source of the Seven, but to take it. All of it. Oh? Only he who claims everything will be everything. The Void's Doom. This world's Liberator. Hmm. I, I do like her words. I hope you understand them to their full extent. The other gods must either bow to you or be undone. But of course, that is what they are saying to their own god Woken as we speak. We both know they won't bow. Just like we both know, you will never bow to them. I think I see what you're saying. Only one can become a god strong enough to safeguard our world. Mm -hmm. One at the expense of all others. So make no mistake, Red Prince. Chances are the road to divinity will be paved with dead gods. Their blood on your blood-red hands. But don't let that dismay you, for these sins will be washed clean by the knowledge you committed them to save all of existence, to save your kin and your loved ones and your empire. Yeah, no, I'm convinced. Where's the Swell of Ascension? I promise that yours alone will be the powers of the lake. And to the lake, I will lead you. But not yet. Not until you've become a true master of the Source. Until you speak the language of creation itself. Our journey will be fraught with peril. It is a pilgrimage of challenges that will require you to command Source 
like only a god woken can, and wield its most powerful spells. Say that if you're to become a master of the source, surely there is no better tutor. Yeah, no better tutor than herself. Laughter rolls and echoes into infinity. You flatter me, my prince. But what? if all I had to do was give, you would long since have received. We are I now. The spells you need to know, I will teach you when you are ready. But first, you must learn to channel the source in greater volumes. That okay. is why you need to seek masters of the source. You must make them teach you so that you may become a master in turn. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this Avatar? Am, am I am I Aang? Are we going around to the different masters, learning the way they fight, combining into one style so that we may save the world? But I believe the Red Prince can save the world. Dun. So, anyway. return to Rivalon and seek out these sages where they dwell. Convince them to share with you their deep-seated bond with the source. So I guess we're a firebender. Let's go try to find an airbender. Once you have, you may return to me here. Um. Okay, and what is something that will make you understand that for a god, there is precious little difference between the living and the dead. Source is. It is a constant, a subject of neither time nor transience. All of life is source. And in source it is. Immortally so. You have the vision of a god now. Eyes that can see spirits. The souls of the dead made manifest in source. Speak the spell during your peregrinations and you will see them. Where the dead lie, the dead linger. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Best of luck, Red Prince. Huh. I met my god, you know. Just another Wednesday. Okay, so we gotta become the Avatar. Got it. Alright, where do we gotta... Oh. Alright, well, uh, it's been real. Goddess, I'm just gonna go smoke this The Meister stuff stares now. intently at you. Her eyes are tired and bruised, but determined. Still alive? Gods above, there might be something to you after all. What, did you doubt me? She leans in, her bloody tongue flickering hungrily about your face. Um, listen, look. You're a pretty lizard lady, but... Tell me, what did you see? What you know? The blood is kind of turning me off. Um, ignore the burning in your lungs and quickly explain what happened. Yeah. She sighs impatiently as you hack up the last of the green smoke. You can't channel enough source. Gods be damned, why couldn't you have a nice simple problem? Finding an orc to dance the hornpipe, perhaps. Brush off our concerns, we can do anything. You may well have that potential, but at the same time, hmm, how to put this? I don't trust you to tie your bootlaces without accidentally hanging yourself, let alone mm. controlling the powers of creation. So we must seek alternatives. Alas, the only source masters not yet hauled off to Fort Joy or turn into meat puppets are those too dangerous or cunning for the Magisters to contain. Sorcerers that allowed their power to corrupt them. Many are wicked, cruel, vile, and generally not good teacher material, but we may have no others to turn to. So, we need to go train under evil sorcerers. You will not be there long, I assure you. There is only so much you can glean from a twisted mind. However, it is the path we walk, no... <coughs> no matter what the cost. No matter... <sighs> what is asked of you. The Meister doubles over in a violent coughing fit, struggling for breath. After a few moments, she regains her composure, wiping a thin smear of blood from the corner of her mouth. I mean, we got heal spells. Can we just? No kind matter of... what is asked of you, you must learn from them. Hmm. 
You don't seem well. And you do not seem to be paying attention. Sorcerers, evil, controlling your source, saving Rivalon, please. <laughs> please tell me at least some of this rings a bell. Your focus, your only focus, must be on finding these masters. On finding the secrets to divinity. Nothing else matters. Hmm. So where can we find them? The Magisters have kept ledgers with all known sorcerers. Especially the powerful ones not yet captured. They would be an invaluable resource. But do be careful not to get caught. I was their <coughs> guest for a time. And I promise you the gallows was the most comfortable part of the experience. And if their barracks turns out to be as empty as their skulls, just try to keep an ear to the ground. There may still be powerful sorcerers hiding in these lands. Yeah, little heart told me of a few. As she speaks, one of her wounds reopens, a dark red stain spreading across her tunic. She hisses in frustration and starts to bind the gash. I wish there was more I could do, but in this condition, I would be more a hindrance than a boon. Godspeed. And remember, do whatever it takes. Hmm. Uh, we will wish her well. Okay, Champion of Gods. That's us. So I think the next stop is going to be the barracks. Even though we may not even need the barracks for information since we got it from Lohar. But there is also the chest... That we can unlock in the barracks. We also need to find the tribe. Don't care about the law and order part. Okay. Oh, and let's go grab this source. So, where is the barracks of Driftwood? That's the tavern. That's the fishery. Mordress's house. Oh, that's it right there. I see. Oh, wait, so we can just go into the barracks from over here. Fill my damn cup. Hi. Um. How is it going? Bellwether, I need those reports. Damn it! Right away. Kind of odd that they are not upset that I'm entering their barracks. Um, I'm just gonna go up here now. Hi. Looking for a chest. Um, I'm on a break now, Yvette. You better not fall asleep on your watch again. <clears throat> Listen, friends, I need to unlock this. So... Okay, listen, there's... Okay. There's a problem with leaving this alone. I really, really want to um, to not leave that alone. I hope you understand. I'm on a break now, Yvette. You better not that's... fall asleep on your watch again. <sighs> I don't Darby like magisters. Carver's got his dossier on the sorcerers. Uh, excuse me. I don't think you're taking me seriously. Jeez, they never do. your first thing to do. No problem. Oh, uh, I guess it makes sense that we all receive spirit vision. Yeah, that, that makes sense.
Okay, that... Well, you know, we'll just kill this person, but that's, um... I'm ready. Not cool. I just wanted to have wings, that's all. Because it looks cool. Alright, you need to die. Because you charmed my friend. Okay. Well, now that that's over, um... We can cast a gentle rain up here. Guess we didn't make enough of a um ruckus. Cause no one came upstairs. We'll get to the rest soon enough. I mean they're part of the oh, oh geez. Like I'm not gonna steer your panties. I may kill you, but I'm not gonna steer your panties. That's just rude. much to carry. How heavy was that? 150 pounds? Nah, we're good. Unidentified one-handed sword. Oh. North Rose. Strength, single hand, atrophy, level nine. That is not. It's just not. Damn it. Damn it. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta put runes and all these people to that stuff. Alright, well that chest was not as cool as I thought it would be. Bunch of cautionary pamphlets, but not a list of source people. That may be downstairs. Ooh, there's also another downstairs. Let's see, there are no doors here. Surrounded by incompetence, I deserve a better posting. You know what? I agree. You totally do. I'm gonna get right on that. Leave that alone? What? I am murdering your... Like, what? But because I was cleaving this cupboard, I think that was taking precedence. Like, what? I'm just sitting here murder. Oh, I just skipped my turn. Whoops. Oh, wow, you have Uncanny Invasion. Well, that sucks. <sighs> okay. Well, um... There goes your friend! Hmm, 
so that won't hit you either. Read the Reaper for me. I do not feel bad about killing Magisters. That's all. They are the enemy. Because they're... They are attacking the Lizard Empire, right? Like, that's... They're part of the Divine Order. Doing that. Um... So, we updated... The missing Magisters, right? Where is... Maybe it was taken off of the quest list? That must have been the person we had to talk to for the missing magisters. Alright. Let's go look for that list. You have a staff. Oh, no way. I actually bought the healing ritual and they have it on you. Ah, it's just my luck. What do we got? 30% cleave damage on a staff? Interesting. But, no. Uh, let's see. Strength based boots. No. Hunting and or huntsman and summoning. Pyrokinetic. That's where's and all that's where's I'm replacing grenade, we will put in beast's bag and then the heal. Um We already know healing ritual on you because I bought it, which now looking back kind of sucks. But how was I supposed to know? Um, so okay, I guess we just had to wears. Okay. Still no list though. We got a piece of parchment, but I think yeah, it's, it's just like a crafting thing. Hmm. Take that out, and let's put that in. There we go. Path in the Pilgrimage. Nope. She's the paper. Looking for lists. Hmm. Damn. You would think they'll be in this place. Rubbish. Is for troll. 
<laughs> huh. All right, let's go down. The Driftwood Prison. Ooh. Silent Watcher, Magister Colwyn. Don't mind if I do. Let's identify the ring. That was in Fane's back. There we go. What do we got? Huntsman and Hydrofist. Hmm. Scoundrel. Prob. Probably go with this. We will lose Fortify again, but that's okay. So let's go back to skills. So we have a slot open. Bless. I guess. Cold mashed potato, healing advertisements, pitchfork. Don't know if you really want to rescue anybody down here. But uh, I'm kind of on a mission to, of cleansing at this point, so... Hey friends! Um, just your friendly neighborhood lizard. <laughs> don't, don't worry about me. Just kind of spreading out my forces here. No real good reason why I'm doing it. Supposed to miss? Damage is beautiful. Oh, smart. Okay. Try and save your friend. I get it. How's it going? We're going to probably kill you. Do some atrophy. Knock you down. There's a ghost nearby. Ghost may linger anywhere. Oh. Okay, we'll, we'll try that later. For right now, a little busy. Bone Widows are just... My god. Alright, so, Ghost, Spirit Vision! Uh-huh. Tell me, Spirit, what happened here? The spirit of an emaciated prisoner is staring down at his own corpse. 
He shakes his head and lets out an exasperated sigh. Of all the stupid ways to go. What happened? Oh, it was a stupid bloody accident. I dosed myself with some poison to make it look like I was half dead. I figured they'd take me to see a healer and I'd have a chance to escape. I must have taken too much of the stuff, though. Wound up fully dead instead of half dead. <laughs> Those bastards haven't even moved me body. <laughs> I wish there was a laugh option. You tried... You outplayed yourself, spirit of Daverick Grisby. Uh, we don't need to know if we to escape, but... Best sure. leave that secret for someone who needs it. You can stroll out of here whenever you like. This is very true. Thank you. Um, sorry you killed yourself. Fool. Okay, what's in here? You put a mushroom on a display case? What the hell kind of place is this? Do you have anything to spay, uh, Magister Colwyn? No? Okay. Yeah, we're basically in a secret, like, war to kill Magisters. So I'm gonna try and kill probably any that I see. Because after we came here, like, I was willing to kind of let them go, but after we came here, we heard that they're they're in, like, an open war with our own people, with the Red Princess people. Like, mm-mm. 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 You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of paper down here. I try to collect everything with Ifan since he's the one that's eventually going to be selling all this stuff that we find. And oh my god, is bartering so good. I actually bought a belt for him that increased bartering by plus one. And like selling items for so much more than they're worth, buying items for so much less than they're worth. Like it's just so... God. It's a great skill. It is a great skill. Sorcerer's Ring. Summon Fire Lucky Slug. Find. I'm assuming that's going to be based off of your summoning ability? Hmm. Yeah. And that's a source thing, right? It is. Stats of the sun will depend on the, on the caster level, yeah, and summoning ability. So, our, our Bone Widow should be even stronger than Fane's Bone Widow, right? Because our summoning is insanely high. Mm, I still want to keep that ring. But yeah, like, what is your summoning? It's zero, and it's so powerful. While, I wonder if it's also based off of necromancy, though, too, in some way. It is a necromancer ability. While our summoning is nine. So, yeah. Like, that thing is insane. Okay. Aha! Mortis, Dwarf, Riker. Aha, uh -huh, we know about Riker. Hanag Lizard. Did, did they tell us about Hanag? Beware of powerful portal magic. Last scene, hosted by a large family in the Black Pits, which we need to go for Fane. Almira, Black Ring, last scene captured and taken by the White Magisters. Sahila, uh-huh. Ifan, <clears throat> yeah, we know Ifan. Addendum, uh, these remain, there remains suspicious source for activity on the northern end of Blood Moon Island. The island itself is currently inaccessible to our forces. Okay, so that's what we were looking for. Blood Moon. Okay. Hmm. That and stuff seems to be accessible for me. I can't. So, Blood Moon. A nag. Okay. Hello, 
Hello, friends. And then this is the tavern. Get uh. you something. Why the devil is this stall out in the open? Oh. <laughs> so that's the sounds off the screen. Okay, got it. An outhouse. All right, so I think we've been everywhere within Driftwood. Cloisterwood, where do we go now? What's up here? Last sightings of Jahan. Jahan. I'm assuming that's one of... Oh, it's Blood Moon Island, north of us as well. Paladin checkpoints. Riker's Rest. Well, I mean, hell, one of them was called Riker's, so we need to go there as well. Paradise Down, Garrus Family Farm, the Black Pits over there. Please. Oh my goodness, Please. there's still so much we need to go. Could you help me? How you holding up? Okay, let's leave town. Hello, bull. Maybe I'm glad I ain't pulling carts of stinking fish round no more. But what's a beast to do if not pull? You should enjoy your rest while you can. How can a beast enjoy this when he's no notion of what his future holds? I'll be spooked till I'm securely hitched up again. Okay. Well, the thoughts of a bull. Hey, friends. Um... I forgot you were out here. You really should be concerned about these giant spiders being summoned, I'm just saying. Bone Widow, 2,200 hit points, opposed to our 1,000. Yeah, that Bone Widow is... Yeah. Ignition won't do much for us here. I'll yield to none. Like every that's the first thing that people do. I'm gonna do some more damage before we can hit them with that. Um, let's do a normal attack. Uh. Yeah. And then we sprout wings. We have drank our Red Bull today. Yourself. 
Very good, very good. Huh, I haven't seen anyone use that ability before. Darn it. Um, fortify. I don't know. Glory I guess is I could have moved. I really wanted to kill that guy. Oh. Well, you piece of shit. Take you. <sighs> Very good. Checkpoint cleared. Now, where to go? So many options. Maybe just go north and clear out this area first. Ah, memories. <laughs> um, what the hell happened there? The shimmering ghost of a kin magister turns her gaze upon you. She holds your stare, boring into your head, searching the blacks of your eyes for the secrets of your soul. But in so doing, she shows you hers. Oh. You are Zeus Hun, a young lizard magister, devoted to the Order. More than this, you are in love with a comrade, a human man of wit and kindness and sweet disposition, who goes by the name of Boris. You are Zeus Hun once more. Alexander dies. Worse, your human comrades look at you askance, as if his murder was your fault. Even Boris turns against you. When he's posted to Fort Joy, he does not say goodbye. Oh, we, we probably killed Boris. Your heart is broken. Posted to the graveyard shift in the dark of night on the outskirts of town, you do your duty diligently. But your heart is no longer in it. So when you catch a couple of young sorcerers fleeing Raymond's net, you see how deeply in love they are. You do not turn them in. You help them to escape. But in the morning, they are caught and under torture give you up. They go to Fort Joy. You are hanged right here. Damn. Farewell, spirits. I will not remember you. I bet you're the musical sort. You ever thought about taking up the loot? I got a few ready to go, all freshly strung. Let's see, do we like to play music or are we a total noble asshat on this? Oh, you know what? I rolled die, didn't even say even or odd. Um, I want to roll again. Even, we're a noble asshat. I rolled an eight. Gosh darn it. All right. Proclaim that you prefer to be serenaded by minstrels than to callous your own You fingers. never bothered to find the melody in you. A shame. You just got a look. <laughs> My brother Laszlaw couldn't carry a tune in a bucket when he were a wee thing. Now, he's got the voice of an angel. Tell her you met her brother in Fort Joy, did we? Uh, okay. He's... he's all right then, yeah? Yeah... He was in good spirits, a spring... Yeah, I don't remember him at That's all. That's last law, all right. If he had the blues, you'd never know it. Nothing kept his big smile from brightening the darkness. I hate the Magisters for what they've done. Stole me brother. Stole me heart. I keep going, though. Hoping to get to Ark sooner than later. Lucian's day crowds will be wanting some musical trifles. Hmm... 
Let me see your selection. Come back if you need. I'll be whittling away. Do we pick up on music now? You know what? I'm not even gonna roll. I want to pick up. I like. I like the idea of us being like, huh? Yes. Yeah, so I'll let me buy that that peasant thing. That thing with the strings on it, and then we end up loving it. Oh wait, I'm not gonna buy it out of my own money though. Like, come on, Ifan, you're the buyer here. I don't think she can afford all that. Hold on. Um. There we go. That's what I, I meant to do. Useful? Ah, you mean deadly. Used to make bows and fletch arrows, but left that hobby behind. I sure heard that in your hands, her arrows will point only at the greatest of evils. There's no shortage of suffering, that's for sure. Maybe I could do me part to help your efforts. Come back later then. I need a bit of time to carve something useful. Okay. Let me touch this peasant's loot. What, no, like, emote to use it? Aww. I was hoping you would pull it out and play a little tune. Well, in our heads, we'll think that they do. Nice uh, little traps you got here. Oh crap! Can we just walk by them? There's paladins up ahead, men of my vintage. I wonder if I served with any of them back in the war. Oh, so we met a traveler, if you please. We met a good paladin, so I don't inherently hate these ones. Who goes there? Ask him if you've seen someone matching Brahmos's description. Who's asking? The Red Prince. Red Prince, eh? In that case, you better talk to Sir Hardwin. Centre Bridge, can't miss him. Thank you. Paladin man. Hello, Paladin Cork. Oh, jeez. I shall, I shall not mourn till war is done. A senior paladin sits hunched over a tattered map. He registers your presence, sits back in his chair, taps his fingers on the map. Who are you and who sent you? You're to inquire after a lizard dreamer called Brahmos. Does he know where he is? You must be the Red Prince. I did meet with a Brahmos, yes, but he's no longer here. Some lizards came along, rather shady looking types if you ask me. Before I knew it, the fellow you're looking for was gone. Where'd he go? Across the bridge. Last I heard, one of my scouts saw him heading down the southern road bound for Stone Garden. A graveyard. Now, if you'll excuse me. He looks back down at his map, but then seems to change his mind. Actually, hang on for another moment, would you? I think I've heard about you. Didn't you free the Meister from the gallows in Driftwood? I did. Then I may well have a job for you, if you're interested. If he's cool with us saving the Meister, that means we're cool with him, maybe? Mm, what do you want? He taps a finger on the map on the table. Here, in the Black Pits, are White Magisters. Their operation is shrouded in mystery. And this pricks our ears. We are gravely concerned. We believe the White Magisters may have strayed into the darkness. Okay. We suspect that Dallas herself and her master, Vriedemann, are the inspiration for these dark endeavors. Look under the white veil of secrecy and report back. How much will you give me? How much do you want? I have fewer paladins to pay, so I have ready gold. But there are limits. So a reasonable sum in this world is a hundred, huh? Well, that's... Mm, 
Yeah, we'll ask for a reasonable amount, that's fine. He breaks into laughter. Done. And cheap at the price, too. He offers you an item. A whistle-like device sits nestled in your hand. When you're ready, send a war owl. Be careful out there. It's a dangerous place these days. And I'd like to think I'll hear from you again. And adventurer. I'm willing for it to be cheap because I'm going there anyway and killing more magisters sounds fun, so... I don't need to be paid that much He for looks it. you in the eye. Don't get caught. Sighting a stocky paladin seated ahead, Ifan tugs at your sleeve. Um, this one I remember. Hardwin and I served together back in the war. Let me do the talking. Yeah, sure. The two men embrace amicably enough, but you sense an uneasy tension running beneath their smiles. Well, as I live and scarcely breathe, if it isn't Ifan Ben Mezd. I thought you died in the death fog. I thought you died a hero. But I suppose it's better to live as one. We really gave those Black Ring what for, eh? Wiped them all out in the blink of an eye. Damned proud to have served with you, Ben Mesda. Damned proud. Ifan's face turns sour as he mutters something under his breath that only the Paladin can hear. Hardwin loses all camaraderie and blanches, uh -oh. stepping backwards. He puts you. Oh. You've changed. And for the worse. I'll not have the sacrifices of my fallen brothers maligned to my face. You survived, Ben Mester. Be thankful for that, if nothing else. Okay. I mean, if if stuff went down there, be I would be on a fun side, obviously. A weary paladin strips equipment from the bodies of the dead, singing softly to himself. He looks you up and down, then nods a greeting. Oh, pity you just arrived. We could have used adventurers like you in that last fight. Hmm, I don't see a reason to be a jerk to them right now. Do you have he anything looks to sell? Up from his mat. I notice that I've yet to receive your war owl. I've noticed that I haven't left yet. <laughs> All right. What do we got here? Huntsman stuff, ricochet, reactive shots, barrage. Okay, we have all that stuff. Uh, war stuff. We've got all that except for this. Mm. Wit scoundrel and geomancer. It's a lot of armor. Hmm. Decent stuff here. Oh, uh, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.